Hi everybody, it's Leon with Wide Awake Productions. I thought I'd do up this video because I'm dealing with a lot of people in the office right now that are doing an emotional history. And so this exercise is going to show you how to do it. Usually what I call it is going back into the forest. Because the forest can be kind of spooky and stuff like that. So we're going to do this in uh, three ways. First of all, what we're going to do is just do a general look at the forest. And what that means is we're going to do a general uh, posting on a whiteboard. The, the general history is just... Uh, questions you ask yourself and then you place the answer to the questions on the timeline on the board which I'll explain in a bit here and then the second one we're going to do is going to overlay onto that one which I'll share in another video and then the third uh, history we'll do is laid over top of that one so what you're going to be needing basically four different color felts and you're going to need a whiteboard now this one here I got a JISC I think JISC has the cheapest prices for it I think it was 30 bucks it's uh, three by five, that's the nice size you want. And you'll want a black marker, that'll be for your historical line. You'll have four of them. And the other one you want is gonna have three separate other colors, because that's gonna be in three different layers of uh, emotional history, the questions we're gonna be asking. So the first one we're going to do today is just general stuff. And again, I'm, I'm doing it this way because I'm, I'm dealing with quite a few people like Kristen and Dan and Jane, uh, Jamie and uh, some of the people I can't see in my office because we're doing it online, counseling online, and or by the phone. So I want to do this video so it helps you guys as well. So um, some of the questions I'll give you a list of questions. If you need a list of questions, just contact me and I'll give you a list of questions for each of these things we're going to do. We're just going to do a general look at the forest right now. So what does that mean? Okay, so a general look at your history. Now, why is it important to understand your history you came from? Well, most people in the office will come in and tell me, you know, when I said, how did you get to where you are today? They'll go into their frontal part of their brain and recite to me, well, I was uh, raised by this and that and that. And most of us have our psychological history down, memories of it, but we don't have the emotional history of how it affected us. So this exercise is to help us get uh, information that's usually stored in our subconscious uh, brought up to our consciousness because as time moves forward we forgot a lot about it, about it. so it, what it does is it draws that information up so we can actually fill out our timeline and you don't have to be perfect okay so when we're asking for certain times uh, when we're writing them on the board here sometimes you're not going to get it correctly and then down the road you'll say oh actually that wasn't then that was back in, in when I was seven or eight or nine so I'll just give you a general overview for right now so what you see here is I have five black lines and over on the left side of it is one, two, three, four, five. And what that represents is your age. One-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old. Okay. Then you come down here and you do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so that's up to basically we're going to cover from uh, 1 years old up to 20 years old on your historical uh, timeline. And again, what we're doing is drawing up emotional information. So how does this work? Well, what I'd like you to do is just do some really general questions for yourself. So some general questions, we're not going into any, you know, monsters and dragons and demons or spooky memories and nothing like that on this, in this first layering. What we're going to do is just ask yourself some interesting questions, <laughs> basic questions. So, so like for the first time is, where were you born? And so where I was born would be basically around one years old. I, I mean, I know I, I wasn't born at one, but uh, <laughs> we want to get to the part where we're starting to develop a certain part of our brain available to us. So where I was born is in uh, Marvel, France. And uh, so I would put here, born in Marvel. Maybe it's like that, France. So I'm using a different marker for this history, okay? So another thing I would ask myself is, uh, where did I go to school? And I would write that, that would start off at elementary school or whatever it happens to be. And so when I went to elementary school, uh, it was, where did I go to elementary school? I started elementary school in, I believe it was Cold Lake, Alberta. So that's around five to six. So I'll put 
Cold Lake, Alberta. And, and uh, so that's grade one. And then I'll go all the way through that until I move to the next school where I went to uh, junior high or elementary school, uh, high school or junior high and then high school and I'll put that in there as well. And then I'll look at the board and I'll ask myself questions like, when do you remember your first Christmas? So where, where do I remember my first Christmas? Sometimes it's hard, of course, you can't remember these ones way back here. But so the next question you could ask yourself is, when did I get my favorite Christmas uh, presents? And I would have to suspect that that was probably around nine. <laughs> and because I got a whole bunch of uh, G.I. Joe stuff, like a helicopter, uh, scuba diving G.I. Joe and stuff like that. So that would be marked, just a marked on here in general, uh, favorite birthday, or favorite, oops, Christmas. And then I'll write a little note there why. Awesome presents. And I'll just keep filling out the board. You can ask any question you want, general questions about your life. Um, like you want to also talk about, uh, what else do you want to talk about? Uh, your first kiss, uh, your first time you had a crush on somebody, the first time you went to a dance, the first time you drank, the first time you maybe smoked pot, <laughs> the first time you had sex, any of that stuff you can put on this kind of thing and really think out of the box. You don't have to sit down and like, do this in one sitting. Just reflect on your life. Remember that the difference between thinking and reflecting is thinking stays up in your head. Reflecting you feel your life history in your body and that's what we're trying to do is bring that subconscious sensory perception of how we felt about our lives and the experiences that we had. When you got your first car, uh, when you got your first car, what else was there? There you got your first job, when, uh, when you got your driver's license, uh, any question you can think of, there's no wrong, right or wrong in regards to the questions. But again, we're not dealing with any kind of traumatic stuff, so we're not going to say I got beaten here, <laughs> you know, I got this happened to me here. We're not doing that on this layering. Uh, we're going to help our body and our brain actually prep for the third layering, which will be, we'll deal with the monsters and dragons and demons, oh my. So the first thing I want you to do is get yourself a whiteboard. After you get yourself a whiteboard, I want you to do five lines or four lines across. Uh, make a timeline from one to five, six to 10, six, or 11 to 15, and 16 to 20. And just start filling it in. First boyfriend, girlfriend, first kiss, uh, first time, um, oh, the first time you got into a fight like at school, uh, if you ever got in trouble at school, if you ever got, uh, let's see, uh, bullied at school, you could put that on there. Um, the first time you uh, enjoyed your first birthday party, uh, the, uh, your best friend, where, where was your best friends on here? Write them down when you met them. Write down when you stopped meeting them as well. Because you want to have kind of a history of how you connected with people and how they left your life or they're still in your life. Some of you do have childhood friends that you still hang out with, which is very awesome to have those people in your life. Okay, so to kind of give you a better idea, I filled out this board a bit for myself. So it give you an idea of what we're going to do. So I'm just going to narrate a few of these experiences that I had and stuff. And again, uh, once you start doing it, you'll, you'll start sensing a lot more information coming up. We're not looking for monsters and dragons and demons, so no trauma stuff, just generalization stuff. So I was uh, born in Marvel, France, and we moved to Canada, Cold Lake, uh, Canadian Forces Bay, Cold Lake, when I was three, roughly around three. After three, though, because I remember, apparently, I used to, when I was in France, go and poop and pee on neighbors, yards and the reason why I did that so I was told was because I heard that cows when they come and poop on your property that was a blessing so I was blessing the neighborhood <laughs> they're probably thinking crazy Canadian kids so I was raised in the military uh, on a military basis so we moved quite a bit um, by the time I was five I had a, my first kiss with a girl beside uh, the house and uh, it was just two of us and we thought we'd kiss as an experiment to see what that was all about uh, and then uh, when, I was in, when I was in Cold Lake, I was in uh, grade one, and in 1969, this is in grade one, I watched, uh, 1969 in July, to be precise, you want to put those dates on there because they're going to anchor you as you go through your timeline. Uh, 
I watched uh, the moon landing on our black and white TV. Nobody was home. I don't remember anyone being home because I actually stayed and I was late for school because I was watching <laughs> the moon landing. I remember going back to school after that. Um, went through grade two, failed grade two. Yeah. <laughs> and then from that, we moved to Canadian Forces Base Penhold, and that's in Alberta. And that's, that's where I was for, uh, started grade three. And then uh, at nine, that was kind of one of my favorite uh, Christmases, because all the Christmases, the G.I. Joe stuff, we got military stuff. And, you know, there's other Christmases you can add on there and other birthdays you can add on there. There's one in here. I think it's probably somewhere in here when I had my birthday. I think it was around 10, where it was my birthday, and my brother was razzing me, and everybody was there. And that's the first time I introduced the world that I could say the F word <laughs> on my birthday. My birthday didn't turn out very well. <laughs> okay, so moving on from that is uh, when I was 10, we moved to Red Deer, Alberta, which was a city, to West Park Elementary School, and that was between the grades uh, 5 and 6. So sometimes don't write the word grade, just put G with a slash and then uh, whatever grade you're at at the time. Uh, I was taken to the principal's office when I was 11 to get the strap because apparently I was making too much noise even though I was the innocent one. It was the guy behind me, but because I was behind the principal, he thought it was me that was yacker because I was a yacker and I was very hyper as a kid. Um, from there, we went to, or at 13, that was the first time I ever smoked pot. We went to the West Coast, uh, visited up a friend that I used to know back in... Uh, um, Penhold on the military base named Mike and uh, he was smoking pot and so that's uh, the first time I ever tried smoking pot and I might have seen the UFO that night but then again I was smoking pot. I <laughs> uh, got my first job which was at a I think it was like a, a PB Mart or something like that and uh, started going to West Park uh, Junior High in grade 7. I got my learner's license at 14 failed five times but realized I only had five tests and I was so stressed about writing the test because I'm terrible at writing tests because of my anxiety disorder uh, that I knew if I wrote it every time I would know all the answers to the test so I didn't care about that. I failed five times or <laughs> five times and then the sixth time I passed with aces of course. Um, over here is I went at 16 I went to Lindsay Thurber High School that's in Red Deer and that's where I got my driver's license at 16 pass that no problem at all. And it's also the first time I experienced a hangover. First time I drank and really knew what a hangover <laughs> was. Uh, my best friends at that time started to become uh, Dave and Cam. I hung with those guys a lot of times. Uh, well, by the time I was 17, I was a top part-time salesperson for a company called Tip Top Tailors. I was making more money as a part-time person than my teacher was at the time, which a student actually said, well, why should we go to school? You know, it makes more than you do, <laughs> which I did. Uh, and then at 18, I dropped out of school thinking I, I didn't need it. So that kind of gives you a feel or a rhythm of what you're looking for. Like I said, there's, as soon as you start writing this down, you're going to start remembering a lot of stuff and just keep tacking it on here and try to be specific as possible and make sure you try to... Uh, uh, you don't have to worry about that you don't have it necessarily on the right timeline but uh, just write as much information as you can in point form so you can actually read it try to use a smaller pen than this one if you can for detail stuff and feel free to use up or down but just make sure you put a little arrow so you know that this is talking about this part not that part okay so that's gonna be the first stage you're going to do on your whiteboard is that technique right there Keep going. Anything that comes up, again, there's no right or wrong. Any memory, every sense that comes up, because you'll start going back in time inside yourself, uh, just plot it under here. So, whiteboard, JISC has them for the cheapest. I think they're $30 for 3 by 5 Four different types of color felt. Black for the timeline. Do your timeline from 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20. Just go back in your memory banks and just general stuff, good stuff, interesting stuff, embarrassing little stuff, you know, nothing serious though, okay? Fill it out as much as you can. You don't have to do it in one sitting. Just do a bit, maybe for an hour, then take, take a couple of days off, but just keep walking by it and leave a pen out and then you'll probably remember stuff and just keep doing it. I don't want you to do it all in one sitting. 
but I do want you to get into the zone of it. So a good hour is a good time for your body to kind of absorb that process because we're trying to introduce a new idea to our system to give us information that we've lost. Okay, so that's it for right now. <laughs> and I'll uh, do another video for the second, second layering. Okay, thanks guys. Talk to you soon.